Alrighty then. So I'm gonna be making a little video series uh, tonight or this weekend or I don't, I don't know when it will be done. Whoopsie doodle, turn that up. Um, so I'm gonna be making a video series about anarcho tyranny, and what is anarcho tyranny? So. I'm going to be making this little concept, this little video, and I think it's a very, very important concept. And that's why I'm making the video. So, let's get started. What is the definition of anarcho-tyranny? Anarcho-tyranny is a state of government and society, right? I, I, I got 12 different definitions here. Anarcho-tyranny is a state of government and society where the government is effective at enforcing laws against those who accidentally break the law and not intend to be criminals and, and fail to enforce the law against those who deliberately break the law and do intend to be criminals. Second definition, a concept where the state is more interested in controlling the citizens than enforcing the law or creating and maintaining justice. Three, Anarcho-tyranny is, is when one group is not held to any standards and another group is held to the highest standards, meaning that there is no equality before the law. Anarcho-tyranny is a concept where the state is argued to be more interested in controlling the citizens so that they do not oppose the managerial class, tyranny, rather than controlling the real criminals causing anarchy. Laws are argued to be enforced only selectively depending on whether it's perceived to be beneficial for the ruling elite. Anarcho-tyranny is a form of dystopia where a state permits or encourages anarchy is chaos in, a, in limited form, either out of laziness or some more malevolent motive, while decent people are suppressed. Anarcho-tyranny is in which the government abandon its du abandons its duties to protect citizens from everyday crime slash violence, but dissidents still feel the crushing force of state power. Seventh definition, discriminative, discriminative and selective enforcement of the law in favor of one group uh, and unfavor against another. In favor of one group and unfavor against another. And, ag and against. When the state is anarchically hopeless in stopping, preventing, or investigating crimes that don't challenge its pow power, but ruthlessly tyrannical in the enforcement of crimes that do challenge its power. When the government can't catch a murderer or rapist, but, but can put you in jail for the rest of your life but not for not paying your taxes. The failure of the state to enforce laws that protect individuals, but the ruthless success in enforcing laws that protect, the, uh, protect or empower the state. The very definition of anarcho-tyranny, laws are not enforced against some groups and are heavily, heavily, heavily and viciously enforced against others. Anarcho-tyranny is when you can murder, rape, rob, torture people, and the state won't try to come after you, but the moment you forget a payment on your parking ticket, a SWAT team kicks down your door. That, to me, is probably the best definition, right? Anarcho-tyranny is when one group of people can murder, rape, rob, and torture you, right? Uh, but, you know, the state, the state won't try to come after them. But the moment you forget a parking ticket, right? The moment you forget to pay the state, the SWAT team kicks down your door, right? So it's the idea that... That if, if a person comes in and steals from your uh, your store and you call the cops and the cops are like, okay, we'll investigate it, but nothing ever, never, nothing ever happens, right? Nothing, nothing happens, right? So the law protects the state, but it doesn't protect you, right? But if that very same criminal were to say, you know, uh, go into a DMV and, and, and rob them, Right. Well, then suddenly the state is all up in arms and needs to needs to attack, needs to put this guy behind bars. So basically, it's the idea that the state doesn't give a shit if you are the victim of crime, only if a criminal threatens its state power. Right. So if a criminal commits a crime against one person, right, if a criminal commits a crime against a private citizen, state doesn't care. If a criminal commits a crime against a police officer, then the state's like, okay, we're going to come down on this guy hard. That kind of idea. That idea, right? 
the idea that that the law doesn't protect a private citizen it only protects members of the government